Now where were we? Ah, yes. We were investigating the domain, which would be the inputs and the range, which would be the outputs of in particular functions with two variable inputs. Sketching the domain with three variables would require three-dimensional pictures. Sketching the domain with four variables, uh, I don't know if I could do that, actually. We could talk about the domain, but, but sketching it may not be a feasible thing. So our first example we're going to look at is what you might call a rational function. And we have the possibility of dividing by zero. And, you know, 1 over 0 is, is not real. It's undefined. It's not equal to infinity at all. Uh, there could be a one-sided limit that goes to positive or negative infinity. You just can't do this calculation. 0 times nothing equals 1. There's just no number that works here. So, we just need to make certain that this quantity x plus 2y plus 2 is not equal to 0. So let's subtract x from both sides and subtract 2 from both sides. Yes, I missed something on purpose. And let's divide both sides by 2 and minus 1. And this should have remained as a not equal symbol throughout that solve. We're solving a, an in equation, not an equation. So basically what this is saying is x and y could be any point that's not on this line. And if you could record your voice and talk to me and send it in as an answer to a homework question, I guess that would be fine. But if you sketch the picture, it is worth nearly a thousand words. Let's look at the little sketch here. X and Y. Uh, y intercept of negative one. Mm -hmm. And we could pick some key points on this line. And I'm just going to do a little rotation here. So this is a dotted line, which means it is not equal to the line. What you can have are points on either side of the line. So everything but the line is really our domain. Everything but the line is our domain. Now, Let's look at a modification of this problem. What if it was the square root of this same algebraic expression, x plus 2y plus 2, and in the square root, we need to make certain that what is in the root, um, positive is fine, You'll get a positive value out. Square root of 0 is 0, but square root of negative is not real. So we don't want to look at values unless they are real values. So this will turn into an inequality, x plus 2y plus 2 greater than or equal to 0. 2y is greater than or equal to negative x minus 2. So y is greater than or equal to negative one half, I don't know why that equals is there, negative one half x minus one. I know that line, I've seen it before. However, what we're saying is that you can actually have points on this line, there is an equal sign, and the y values can be greater than the points on this line. So we have a solid line, 
and the y values can be greater than which from numerous courses before this one you could talk about how to know how to solve uh, by graphing a two variable inequality so the claim is is everything over here is good and everything over here is bad it wouldn't be difficult to verify the bad this point 0 negative 2 is below the line if x is 0 and y is negative 2 you will have the skirt of a negative and if you choose any point on this side of the line this will be positive and if you choose any point on the line you'll have 0 I wonder if there's a way to talk about the range for this graph so let's switch over to a graphing window shall we so here is what the top view looks like in GeoGebra and as you might be able to see it looks like somebody used a pair of dull scissors to cut this off of a big purple piece of paper um, what you could think of this is as as the undefined values uh, on one side of the line but this verifies the shading I just showed you a moment ago now let me do a little spin because this is a three-dimensional graph so this line here that separated the there's no graph from there is a graph if you spin it just enough you're gonna see wait a second I know this graph uh, that's the square root function but in the third dimension and its vertex so to speak is on the line and it looks like the z values are greater than or equal to zero that would be our range fantastic in the next segment, we'll look at some even more interesting cases.